pay attention, it's the Japanese music. We're starting Rockman 6. This is a little oh, bit... Oh, Platinum. Yeah, it's a little bit different from the American release of the game. Music, that is. I kind of like this one better, actually. I do like Mega Man 6 because I like the themed bosses mm. of the different countries versus redoing the same elements over and over again. True. With random animals thrown in. <laughs> so, robot contest, robots try and take over the world. Oh, wow, look at that. That was a cool effect. That wasn't in the English release. Here's some robots. Plant Man, right? And Mr. X is behind it all. Oh, Plant Man's like the worst person to go to first. What did you... <laughs> is this a snowball? Yes, a blue snowball we're using. A microphone. Uh, you should go to Plant Man first. Are you kidding? <laughs> Um, Plant, Man's, it, Plant Man as a boss is very easy. Plant Man's stage is very difficult oh, without Man. special weapons. Blizzard Man's a good pick for first. Master of Snow. Thank you, Z. Somebody needs to read these things out loud. Uh, that's true. We'll, we'll be better next time. Already you can see the level of detail in the graphics, how it just continues to improve. there are green ice blocks in the background. <laughs> Not sure what's frozen to make them. Crypto. Jello! Oh, Jello. I like Jello. All of the above. You need a weapon to get those, right? Yes. You need Flame Man's weapon. Who'd have thunk it? And you can break through those bricks with the power adapter, which you also get from Flame Man. Use dive missile. Make calamari. Oh, shush. We're at the midway point already? Mega Man 6, in some parts, suffers from the Mega Man 5 Fortress Stage Syndrome, where the challenges are fine, well, actually, I guess it's more Mega Man 3 Syndrome, where the challenges are fine, but they could have done so much more with them. I would have loved to have seen, I don't know, more things. Because uh, there's only real two or three real challenge spots with the submarine, one of them being right here. Maybe if they had a trio of those turrets sort of in a stair-step pattern like they have later in the game in one of the fortress stages. Mm. And that moving up and down, that would have been tricky. Uh, someone's asking, uh, what is that, Kaibane27 is asking what the metal things are in the ice. I'm not actually sure, I assume that's just probably random gear and material that got frozen um, as they were putting this level together. I wasn't looking quite closely enough, but I know what you're talking about. Oh, I jumped too soon. Oh, Frank it easy. <sighs> Oops. Oh, it looks like they're um like air tanks for scuba divers that are frozen in the ice. It is 4.49 here. In the afternoon. Oh, 449. Do you know where your Mega Man is?
My <laughs> Mega Man is... Your Mega Man is on a boat? Mine is in a box. With that fox. It, it always looked to me like those ice blocks on the left side. You should be able to melt through them and find a secret room. It does a little bit. I see that every once in a while. There's a couple of stages in Mega Man 4, 5, and 6. Where I look at and say, there's something that should be here that isn't here. Did it again! Well, you can jump Ooh. back to the other platform. I could. Alternately, you could turn yourself backwards so that when you get hit... I don't need strategy. Well, you get <laughs> I need <backwards>. sympathy. <laughs> I said sympathy, not mocking. <laughs> oh. Screw it, there you go. <laughs> we have the Mega Man 2 Game Over music uh, remixed again. We're gonna go for... Centaur Man, he's your favorite. Forgotten area, Plant Man, Flower, Fancier. Pay no attention to the fact that I'm going to plan them first. <sighs> and another large thing that jumps around <laughs> that just isn't any different from the last two games, aside from appearance and general shape. I like that Mega Man 6 does try and introduce some newer ideas. It does feel... I think it feels more different from 5 than 5 did from 4. Yes. 5 was just a rehash of everything that came before it. Which well, was, and, and a like slight remix. I feel like it has some remix. unique enemy ideas. Yeah. Uh, the, the main problem I have with 6 is that it... Talking about the compound challenges again, that it doesn't do as much... Some some parts, like parts of Plant Man stage, are actually very challenging, are very well thought out, and some of the parts are like, well, we just threw a couple of things together. I don't know if it's actually going to be challenging or not. Probably not, but, you know, they, they kind of look like they're fun enemies. And I like the springs here, although I do have to give five credit for their water level, even though it wasn't the best executed. You mean Wave Man stage? Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. Because that was a little bit different than anything ah. that had come before it. So I'll give them credit for that, even if it wasn't oh, I guess the I most can't enjoyable to play. Yeah, I'm with you on that. But I like the springs here. Fish! More fish. Ah! Lots of everything. Like, this, this is a great compound challenge, because you have stuff jumping out of the water that you can, you know, destroy very easily if you know, you know, if you're expecting these things. Um, and you've got the things flying out of nowhere, and you've got the bouncing and the platforms that you're firing to open. Like, this is very challenging, but it's... Ah! But it's very well done. <laughs> but then there are bosses like Plant Man who don't really add anything new to the boss pantheon. Yes, he looks different, but he's just a hopping skull man who doesn't shoot. Um, or a star man well, who fires his shield instead of... Either way, he's sort of like any of the uh, shield bosses who have come before him. That's true. At least, you know, bosses like Gravity Man from the last game had a unique boss mechanic of flipping things. But... Yeah. Well, and even Starman, you fought him in low gravity, and he throws his shield at you from multiple angles, whereas Woodman only threw his shield at you horizontally, and Skullman didn't throw his shield at all, but he ran around a lot, fired his shield up more often, and shoots at you in between. Oh, look out! You get Plant B and Rush Jet Adapter. Well, it looks like Plant A failed. We have to go to Plant B. <laughs> hmm. Now you can take on Yamato Man or Ta 
would guess you could take my time after that. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I was I was thinking out loud and hadn't completed my sentence yet. Um, if you're looking for the special secret um, ending to the level where you fight him in the right location and get the beat part, uh, you do not have the right weapon to fight him, however. Oh. In the beat parts? Yes, in the beat parts. So you can't punch through there, but you can fly up later in the level. It is Yam Man. Full Full Moon Man, I'm, I'm sorry, I can never pronounce your name, uh, is saying to not even bother with Beat, and yeah, that's probably uh, not a bad recommendation, because Beat could technically come in handy somewhere, but ultimately is really not useful in this game. Um, mostly because there are other weapons, such as Centaur Flash, that do such a better job uh, than Beat can do. This is just sad. Those enemies were so challenging in Mega Man 5, and they're just total downgrade on all sides. Well, but that's kind of cool, too, because you see them and you get scared, and you're like, oh, this is going to be hard, and then you feel like, ah-ha-ha, -ha, when you beat it. Maybe. They I psych you out a little bit. I think it would be funny if they psyched you out by... Oh, yeah, here's where you can fly up. I think it... I can't fly. Yeah, you got jet. Oh, I can fly. I think it would be funny um, if they had, like, a huge one of those that's like, oh no, it's a giant thing, and you fire one shot, and then it's just all done. That would have been amusing to me. No, the rush adapters are definitely the most unique part of this game that really help... Between that and the themes of the bosses, those two really give this game its flavor. Uh, yeah, I love the level design here. With the, the shoji screens and the, the rice paper windows, it just, it really does have a Japanese aesthetic. And you'll need to fly up there, because if you fall, that brings you in a different part of the level, actually. Also looking uh, back to Plant Man and Plant Barrier, Plant Barrier is really a downgrade from any of the other uh, barrier weapons we've seen so far, because it only... It does a fair amount of damage to some of the enemies. Um, it's very effective against the mini-boss in Tomahawk Man stage, for example. If I trip over it, we'll grab the energy balance. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it doesn't absorb enemy projectiles the way Skull Man's weapon did, and you can't throw it the way you could uh, Wood Man and Star Man's weapon, so... And it sort of pulsates in and out, which leaves a little bit of an opening every once in a while for something to get through and hit you. Kind of like that. Asking what's better, Plant Man or Pump Man? Plant as Man. As far as the weapons. Plant Man, by far. Um, because even though it is a downgrade from all of the other barrier weapons we've seen so far, Pump Man's weapon is as much of a liability as it is a help a lot of the time, because it very slowly, like, fills up around you. You fire it and it goes boop, 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 and it slowly forms in a circle around you. But the problem is, it forms under your feet and behind you first until it gets in front of you. And most of the time, things that are sneaking up on you that you instantly need protection from are going to be appearing behind, uh, I'm sorry, on top of you or in front of you, not behind you and below you. So by the time you've actually fired it, it's no longer really, uh, he cornered me. Sorry. I was hoping for him to jump. Anyhow, it's no longer really a defensive weapon by the time it finally gets fired, which means you need to use it offensively, which doesn't work very well because when you fire it off, the balls go in all different directions, which are incredibly hard to aim, and the, um, the bubbles that are surrounding you gradually disappear every time one of them gets hit. So it's sort of like Junkman's shield in that respect, but not even strong. <laughs> so you have huge gaps. And I'm talking way too much about barrier weapons. A lot of your fans are quoting your previous playthrough. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I think it died completely. Yeah. Oh, boy. 
Yeah, uh, someone's saying water shield is a melee weapon, and I would sort of agree with that, but it's only really useful in like one or two spots as a melee weapon. It, it doesn't... It, I don't know, it's... I'm, I'm trying to come up with a, uh, a good comparison. Yeah, who spiked the Mega Man? <laughs> flame Man, Master of Flame. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's too early in the stage to need this yet. Fire. <laughs> Just, you know, moving the cloud along. How'd this baboon get here? <laughs> Ow! And I'm back in Fireman Stage Hall. Oh. I like this stage. I feel like it has a different uh, it does feel have, to it, it though. Does have a different and I feel. like the kind of heat wave thing going on in the background with the shimmeriness. Smeeve says the Susan says, Hi. Hello. Is the Susan watching us? Or just saying hi? <laughs> no. More of my oil is on fire. My profits are going down the drain. What are you, some sort of inquisitor throwing your profits into the fire like that? <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Flame on! Let me know when you guys get hungry. I think when we enter the fortress stages, if you want to start on it. Ow. Oh, I was doing so well. Uh. <laughs> I know, I can't speak for, for Gemini, but I, I tend to um, speed walk games. <laughs> um, <laughs> I definitely find myself... Uh, Sometimes trying to do things that uh, I saw on TV, you which you should not try. And rush power adapter. You should not try after seeing them on TV. Okay. Now I can fight Nightmare. Right? So now, now you can fight either Tomahawk Man or Blizzard Man. And you were so close to beating Blizzard Man too. No, Yamato Man was who it was so close to beating. No, Blizzard Man, you were at the door. You just didn't hop off the bomb. Right, which is not as far back as I was. Never mind. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. You were you were right at the verge of beating Yamato Man as well, yes. Uh, you have power adapter now and can break open these blocks. I get a D tank. Which E tank? The last one, I think. Oh, this one? Let's find out. Pow! Pow pow! Huh. I'm one of those people? I don't know what you mean. Oh, I can't hit him. I like watching speedrunners. And occasionally I've tried to speedrun things. In particular, uh, Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time, but, um... Yay, head! Met heads. Ah. Goodbye, head. You didn't get ahead. No, he's One of those too human many. people. <laughs> yes, I am. I am not a. I am only. Wait, don't tell everybody that I'm human. Half the chat still thinks you're a cat. <laughs> My wife's a cat. Stop that. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Just to see what it feels like? Well, no, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the chat. <laughs> uh, get to the next screen before you die, because that's the midway. Or the screen after that. <laughs> Eddie, I love you. Come on, I love you. Oh, Good I right. love you, Eddie. <laughs> no. I don't want to hit. I want to jump. Oh, this was a bad idea. It's not so bad. Just take your time. Leap of faith! Leap of faith! Well, actually, I can see that one, so that doesn't count. Oh, glorious! Do you have anything? No. Nope. Minish Cap was good. Except for the part where I couldn't beat the final boss. You have that problem with every game. For whom the bell tolls... That's not true. Wow. You've had that problem with every game that I've heard you talk about. That's because that I, I only talk about... you to beat. That's the... Uh, you never told me to beat Minish Cap. Well, I haven't heard about Minish Cap. Plant Barrier works amazingly well on that enemy. I was actually surprised when I discovered that. <laughs> um, they're saying take the upper path so you can get the equalizer. And then swing back down to the bottom so you can get B. But, you can do this any way you want, because again, B is not terribly useful, but energy balancer is through that wall. Chris B, I thought you loved like three hours ago! <laughs> Why eat no die? Uh, you're not close enough. You either need to really get on the edge or climb to the bottom of the ladder. That works. That's safe. Hello. It Friend. was totally worth having you show up in this game, Proto Man. And now back down, actually. Nope. Okay, keep going. We already skipped beat one place. No, we didn't. Well, we didn't. We technically... It's just because I didn't finish the level. <laughs> oh, should have killed one of those. We also have weapons. I know, plant barriers. There's just something about boss doors that makes me anxious. <laughs> so, I did that so you all could see the other way to get to the boss. <laughs> It's like a twofer. This is actually probably the most efficient route we could have gone through. Um, claim the jet adapter so we can bypass some of the tricky platforming challenges if we need. Grab the power adapter so we can break through walls and then come here so we get the energy balancer so we don't need to fiddle around on the menu screen refilling energy. You don't believe me? Why, I just said it on the internet. It must be true. He's following you. <laughs> and you should follow me, too. You can follow me on Twitter at Dash Jump TV and on Twitch by pressing the button <laughs> of your video. Well done. I, do I jump down there? You turn on the flying machine and you just hug the ceiling. This could end poorly. It, it could, but you have two lives for it to end well. So when we follow Dash, can we wear a mat hats too? Please do. Uh, you want to keep on the jet, actually. It's safer that way. 
<laughs> you made it? Wow. Yeah, I know. There's no pit I've, I've found that I haven't liked, right? <laughs> Go back that. Logic. <laughs> or wait, can I use that? Uh, plant. Plant. Close quarters fighting, but he usually corners you anyhow, so. Does plant bear not fire? Uh, it just surrounds you. It doesn't launch. Which is what I was saying when everyone was tuning me out about the barriers. You're Thomas Pop, sir. <laughs> and now you're out. Okay. <laughs> that was short lived. Got him down to half health. Can't be too bad. Oh, it, it could be bad. Uh, next hit you take, you should be tanked. Hey, then we had them. Yeah. This game, like I was saying, is full of them. Yeah, well, when I went to E tank the first two times, we hadn't acquired any yet. Why didn't I use any E-Tank on Yamato, man? Do we have a man? Uh, I think... I wasn't paying attention. Mm -hmm. Uh, you might have had one by Oops. then. I'm trying to remember what we did. No, actually, I don't think you would have had one by then. Oh, you would have had one from Flame Man stage. But, <laughs> oh, but I did Flame Man stage after that, so no. <laughs> Jim and I is like, no, keep the jet. No, no dash. No, do this dash. This is why dash is a cat. <laughs> <laughs> You get silver tea and beat B parts. I'm I'm fine with that though because cats are independently minded and fluffy. Um, and for you know black tea over silver tea. And so uh, and also um, cute girls love cats. So you know how can you go wrong? Centaur Man, ability unknown. <laughs> <laughs> I think his ability is very known. I think his ability is to crush you into a fine paste. Choo. Choo. Helps if I actually uh, aim at what I'm shooting at. Yes, I do remember my Lapith wedding reference that only about two people on the entire internet got. Sploosh! What did you do to the water, Nathaniel? Uh. I can neither confirm nor deny. People are requesting songs. Songs? Uh, why would they be requesting songs? Did I ever sing while doing this stage? Um, somebody is starting to sing You May Find Yourself. Yes, I know, because I sang during the stage in my playthrough on YouTube. Which only works, again, if I'm singing in harmony with myself in, in pre-recorded wonder. I can sing along and make up lyrics to the... Uh, to the song tune, the stage tune, the show tune. Um, let's see if plants work. So they do. I don't know, Dry. The derp comes and goes. We'll try, Dry. <laughs> oh yeah, this is still on. It's on. Tommy Hawk. Hwa! No. Hwa! 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 My whine works better when I aim probably. It's 12 a.m. there. Well, that sounds like it's bedtime. Unless you're me, which is then 4 a.m., but you got a good four hours left. Yeah.
If you notice, there are columns in the background, so that's kind of Greek inspired. You're kind of Greek inspired. Actually, that's not true. It very much all. It really wasn't derpy enough to be up to dry standards, I don't think. Don't freeze me. I'll hurt you if you freeze me. Which Mike Tyson's punch out? I'm actually hurting you anyhow. Maddie Sox fan. Oh, I didn't get fire. You get Kaflash and Beat to Parts. Beat to Parts. Country Song and Mega Man has requested for me right now on stream to pronounce the name of the ga ga Gabi o ga Gabi o ga Gabi o Gabi o all enemies that slide back and forth on the ground, and I refuse. Lizard Man, Master of Snow. Well, it looks like we're gonna miss the bird then, Funky Z, because I'll be spelled as at. <laughs> <laughs> we get the E, does that mean it's time for dinner? Yes! Actually, when we get the E, that'll be time to start making dinner. <laughs> oh. That's okay, we can get the lower way. Yeah, I showed them the upper way last time. Wink, wink. <laughs> There's a one up in there. Not that it's and any there it shall stay. <laughs> no, there was one down in there. It was a poison Mega Man hit. No, it made you fall. Oh, okay. No, we haven't beaten any. Yeah, we did. Yep. Yeah. Woo woo. Woo woo woo. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> well, all fire was working so well. I wanted to beat him with strength. So, Gemini Laser, what is Mario and Luigi's last name in the Super Mario Brothers games? It's Mario. Mario, Mario, and Luigi Mario. I always thought it was Mario Mario. And Luigi Mario. Or did I get him backwards? What would you say is the hardest boss in the classic series? Well, we were talking about that earlier. Um, until you know his pattern, and even when you do, it's kind of tough to get down. Elect Man. Uh, I am particularly unfond of Slash Man. Shadow Man without the special weapon can be very difficult. Ice Man. Ice Man's not that hard. He, he does have a very predictable pattern. It's a matter of actually getting the pattern down, which is doable, it's just it becomes more of a jumping puzzle than a boss fight. But he is very brutal as well. So I would get out of there. Rather than dash in? Well, now dash in, like as it's just coming up from the spikes, hop in. worst boss as in should not have been created. I don't know that there's any boss so far that we've seen in this playthrough that should not have been created. Um, he will come though. 
Yeah, in in some of the later games, there are ones that I I don't know about necessarily should not have been created, but I don't like their design or their too reminiscent of another boss, or there's there's some aspect about them that is not done to my liking at all. Beyond just being difficult. I don't know, Sheet Man isn't that bad of a joke. Oh. What would make this battle, I think, more of an interesting challenge? would be if, sort of like in the Wily, the final Wily alien battle in Mega Man 2, if they had a little, little bit of snow flurrying in the background. To throw you off with the uh, projectiles that are coming your way. Yes, Sheep Man was based on Do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep. Well, perhaps inspired by, I don't know about based on this. Well, story. he was saying it was based on a like, Philip K. Dick novel, which... Inspired by, yes. Did you see my Buster Only Snowman? I saw that. <laughs> For the win. Buster the Snowman. No, that is the correct author. Philip K. Dick is the Whoa. correct author. And the book is Do Android Stream of Electric Sheep. I'm not in entire disagreement about Clown Man uh, should never have been made, but I, I think really that's hate what Clown I was Man. Thinking. <laughs> it's pretty close. Nightman, master of mace ball. Because I think if they would have actually had like a comedic Clown Man, he made it to the Mace Ball World Series once. <laughs> if Clown Man were the joke boss, that would be fine, but he's sadistic and awful. Yes, the capital of science! Yeah. No, Clown Man doesn't sound like Harley Quinn or I might like it. I was hoping for him to run into my flame on the wall. That'll show him for following me. And we've all fallen asleep. I fell asleep on the controller and was just continuing to press right. Ah! Ah! And I knew that one was coming too. I knew it was going to hit me, but what did I do about it? I just let it happen. I think there are those times when I... Yes! Flip top of science! Oh, that we already have <laughs> six. Uh, I don't know. That's fine, I'll use them. <laughs> <laughs> um, train of thought derailed. Do this for change. Hey! Now, there are times when I recognize that there's something that I should be doing or should not be doing on a playthrough. I'm like, like I backseat know... gaming. <laughs> I'm like, I know I'm gonna get hit here, but, uh... I, it's not worth it to try and dodge it, so I'm just gonna be lazy and do it. Hey, I'm backseat gaming for your benefit, man. So that we're not going to bed at, like, 5 in the morning. If I feel faster, you get the controller sooner. <laughs> that is a good question. Why do lives and E-Tanks have double digits if you can only get nine at most? I think it helps to actually look like there is a tally, because if you just have, like, E-0 sitting there, it looks kind of funny. It's like, what is that zero for? Until you actually pick one up. Uh, that didn't help. 
Backseat gaming in, uh, traditionally means, uh, at least while streaming, when uh, people from the chat usually um, tell the caster how to play the game. In this case, I was given uh, Jim and I a hard time because of the instructions he's been giving Dash Cat here. Um, <laughs> but uh, I don't... Um, when playing on my own, I, I prefer to ask for help um, when I get stumped rather than uh, have it, you know, shouted out at me, uh, as, as many people do, particularly on first runs or blind playthroughs, uh, so that it, the game won't be spoiled for the caster or for those watching who haven't played before. Well, the only rationale I have here is, aside from the fact that I habitually dodge am a backseat gamer no matter what. You it, get Night C and Beta Parts! Beta Parts! Um, I am much better about backseat gaming than I used to be, if you can believe it. Uh, nope. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I can since I've seen it. Um, but for the purposes of this run, just because time is actually a factor, and we do... Time is not a factor! Time might not be a factor for Master you. Spear. It's not a factor for you either. Yeah, it is. I only have so much stamina and energy. By the time we get to Mega Man 10, I'm going to need every last ounce of energy I have to get myself through that game. And Mega Man 8 is going to take a lot of work, too. So, in the interest of keeping this going at a relatively speedy pace to make sure we can get through everything, that's been... talking, we're playing. Yeah, that's been... Well, you're playing now. <laughs> Less talking about playing. Fair enough. Besides, it gives me something to talk about. I run out of commentary when I do live commentary. And sometimes it's helpful for people who haven't played these games, or, you know, could use some tips and tricks or whatever. Um, You're to magnetically get some attracting every single one of those. Something happened there. Polarity reversed halfway through there. This is like nice optional material in this game. Um, some of the, well, I'm thinking like Mega Man Battle Network, for example, has some optional material like Beat here. You don't have to get Beat. You can play the game without it. You don't have to get the energy balancer. Um, but if you do want to get them, it's just more of the same, you know, kind of challenges that you've been through. But I know that there's some other games that if you want to get all of the optional material, sometimes you really have to go out of your way to do some obnoxious stuff that uh, doesn't flow with... It's not like, hey, look, you get to play more game. It's, we make you do all of these random, unrelated things to the core gameplay if you want to pick up all of the secrets. Oh, now we Good have night, people Pippin. on the chat meowing. Good night, way. Pippin. Good night. And I'm sure they'll talk about Mega Man 8, which they were acting about your asking about your opinions on Mega Man 8. I'm sure they'll talk about it when they get to it. Oh, goodness me, yes. Oh, uh, in yes. the meantime, if you want to direct your attention to GameCola.net and do a search for Mega Man 8 Pizza in the search bar, that'll probably be the fastest way to come up with the article that I wrote that is a review of Mega Man 8. <laughs> Do you have the special weapon to beat him? I think so. I would just wanted to give it one more Buster try since I uh, give it the old Buster try. Yeah. The old busted try. <laughs> yeah, he is weak to blister. Knight. Did you say he's allergic to Blizzard Knight? No, he's allergic to 
Yes, he's allergic to nightly blizzards. And if you're searching for my Mega Man 8 review on Game Color, it is Mega Space Man 8. Like this. Ho oh! ho! Yeah, that's right. Tomahawk's got a weird attack angle, but it actually does work on a number of enemies in this game. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Gemini laser picking the control back up. And blocking the shot with the controller! You get Y Spear and BD parts. Mmm, BD parts. Stage select. Looks like we're down to Wind Man. Mechanical Tower. Windman, master of wind. <laughs> I'm like, he's not dead. Why isn't he dead? Ow! Huh. Yes, wind is between earth and fire. <laughs> Actually, it's between fire and... I messed that up. Yeah, I don't need to slow down for that. Earth, fire, wind, water, heart, then heart. Why so serious? That was one of the Why worst jokes so you ever did. Spurious. And therefore, the, one of the most remembered jokes. <laughs> no. Come on, B. Do something. Okay, you're not doing something. And I went right through you. Delightful. I would argue that Windman is the easiest boss in Mega Man 6, but his stage is... Oh my goodness! <laughs> Buttons nice need recovery. to function when I press them. <laughs> uh, his stage... Uh, it works out better if you happen to be carrying some uh, special weapons and items there. number of letters you need to spell Beat's name determines his strength and power. So because you had to have Rockman 5 to summon Beat the last time, he was extra powerful. But because you only had four letters this time, he's half powerful. That's clever. I like that. Uh, plan? Can they get... Gemini Laser has been spotted setting pandas on fire. New story at 11. <laughs> Flash! Somebody happy? Somebody's happy. Actually, we should, like, organize a chorus of this. Where everybody sh sings a note of Flash at the same time. Uh, let's see how this goes. It'll be 3, 2, 1, Flash, okay? 3, 2, 1. One. Flash! Flash! That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> and the chat room bursts into Flash. <laughs> Look out! You get... Master what of the storm? Universe. Storm. Frash? <laughs> Who's saying frash? <laughs> Whose tower do you think this is? 
place is Mega Man X's tower. Oh, obviously. This is where Zero goes to kill X. <laughs> Moon to funk. Moon to funk. Kind of so, it always sounds like to me. later on, after X becomes so emo that he doesn't want to hurt anyone or fight anyone, he goes, what's the point of anyone being alive and yeah. turns into a villain? Pretty much. <laughs> it happens that way a lot of the time. Can I break that window? Not that one. Okay. I remember breaking windows, but that could have just been last night, you know. I like that there's like five different solutions you can take to get past this guy. Oh! Ooh. Close. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. This one? Nope. <laughs> You know, maybe it's just that I'm I'm finally awakened in the groove and through all of the terrible game overs that we both suffered over and over again in the earlier games. Oh, that looks like a broken window, and yes. there it shall stay. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm really enjoying this one, even though Mega Man 6, I like Mega Man 6, but it's not one of my absolute favorites. It is my favorite. Really? Yeah. What about I, it? I confessed earlier. Because of the fit and finish and simplicity, and it's one that I don't die in as much. <laughs> No, I was, I was going to say, I like that the feel of this right now is a lot more relaxed than the other ones. Because some of them were particularly tense. Oh, that didn't quite work. In a lot of spots, which is fine. Oh. Um, but for a live streaming marathon, I, I was you know really looking forward to just sitting down and playing some Mega Man. And not being like, oh man, are we going to make it through Iceman stage? They're doing a pretty good job of watching the screen and watching the chat. Whoever's not playing at the moment is... Kind of watching and seeing. Although what's going I'm on. trying not to watch as much because that was giving me a headache earlier for some reason, switching between screens. That's because you refuse to get glasses. I don't need glasses. You need glasses. That would mess up my eyesight even more. I need to learn how to read, is my problem. Why you no read good? You can build a school for children who can't read good. Wow. The stars in the background are sparkling. Was that not in the American version? Because I don't the ever remember ones. noticing that. It Whoa. probably is. Hey, and you hang probably on. don't see it with a this is VRF different. adapter. This is different. There were blocks that you could blow up in the American version uh, that had an E-tank. This this level design here is well. There's that one. Uh, maybe I'm completely misrecalling this, but I was pretty sure that level design was different there. I can't slide with that on. <laughs> I should know from watching your videos. I'm too big and bulky. Don't die. Oh, thank you. I, that actually might have gone rather poorly. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't, don't panic, don't panic. Don't panic. There has to be, there's a okay, weapon. Okay, they're saying there is a definite difference in the level design. Between okay, them. good, I'm not making stuff up. Yeah, there's like three or four special weapons that are great here. Bye bye. <laughs> Should I go in that or down the No, pole? that's a dead end. Uh, that's the exit that you can't get through because it's breaking blocks that you can't break from that angle. Okay, so I go down? No, you can't go down. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what I'm saying to you. Oh. <laughs> uh, did you ask a question, Dry? Pizza time will probably be after this game because I'm having too much fun watching. I don't want to go make it. <laughs> <clears throat> And oh, that's you saw interesting. Nothing. <laughs> um, this looks like again a, a difference from the American version. It looks like this boss chamber is reconfigured a little bit differently. The uh, just the foreground. Well, and the background too. I think look different. And All this right. looks to be a little higher up on the screen. You need Hawaiian Punch. I forgot. Uh, Hawaiian Punch or Fire Blast uh, work well, as does Yamato Spear. Actually, that's one of the things that I appreciate about this level in particular, is that there are a number of different viable solutions to some of the things that are actually set up more like puzzles of, yeah, here's an enemy in an obnoxious place to get through, um, and you can't really just 
have Adam with the blaster. I mean, I guess you could, but, you know, they offer a couple of different options. Well, Falcon back. punch, 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 guys. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what IKEA argument were we talking about, WWP? You mean after all that time we spent talking about IKEA and arguing about it? You don't even remember our argument now. This is getting on my nerves so much right now, Jim. <laughs> And a recap of what happened earlier with Iceman stage, um, about 30 to 45 minutes yeah. of them dying. It wasn't that long. It was that long. It was quite a long time. We'll do some, we'll do a time elapsed with timer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, again, not positive, but fairly certain this level, it just looks a little different to me. Maybe I'm used to the, the color balance on the emulator that I used to play this recently, or... I'm not sure. There should totally be some sort of enemy there. Um, but this is looking a little bit different to me. I think... Maybe, maybe not. Well, we'll probably compose a um, highlights video and post it on uh, YouTube. So that you can see some of the epic uh, failure and some of the epic saves. Yeah, because there's, there's been some, I think, some epic win, too. Ow. Okay, now look, you. Yes, like when we spelled awesome in the last game. That was awesome. I always liked this hallway because it reminded me of the uh, end of the first Sigma stage in Mega Man X. It has that same geographical layout, yeah. except without the uh, spiked wheels falling from the sky rolling at you. Unless I'm completely thinking of a different game at that point. No, it's, um, there's little helicopter enemies that come from the sky, right? Because <clears throat> the spinning wheels don't come in until... Uh... Oh no, I'm sorry, I lied. They were in Mega Man X. There are different spinning wheels later in the series. Oh, don't make me do so. Why do I take on this? My secret to this is I'm not really looking uh, at the boss itself. I was just sort of firing looking more at Mega Man and uh, firing off the shot every once in a while. Make sure I dodge better. WWP is asking how it's going with the Mega Man 7 videos. As you can tell by how productive I've been on recording Mega Man videos today, uh, extraordinarily well. Except I haven't played Mega Man 7 in a very long time. Been working on Space Quest Zero playthrough for GC.net, the Game Cola YouTube channel, and that took way longer than expected. There's also been big life stuff going on and have been doing other, like, writing projects. Uh, so I do have a tiny bit of footage recorded for Mega Man 7. but I do plan on getting back to that this week or next week. So hopefully, hopefully, I make no promises, you might have a teaser video by the end of the year, which is really what I'm going for. There's been a request to stream Deja Vu. Why? I already played Deja Vu. I know, but that would make it more authentic because they'll feel like they already watched it. Now I might at some point do Deja Vu too for the Game Cola YouTube channel. When he records for his actual YouTube videos, he practices a great deal before recording. Today, they're just kind of winging it and doing whatever they feel like. Yeah, so you can see with Mega Man 4, 5, and 6, because those are, number one, the ones that I spent more time practicing on recently for my YouTube videos, and also they're ones that I've played more um, and are more my style of gameplay. Um, those I've been doing a lot better with, been a lot more polished with. Uh, whoa, that was fun. Uh, but Mega Man, Mega Man 1 is just difficult. I'm actually better at it than I was letting on this morning. And Mega Man 2, same deal. 3 it was about my skill level for 3. Bye, WWP. Bye. Hello, 
shadow. This would have been a great addition to a different Mega Man game, because the jet really makes it very easy to bypass all of the platforming challenge of the section. It's just the enemies that you need to watch out for. Yeah, because you don't really have to use power-ups to refill the jet energy, you just have to land. Yeah, and you can still make it a challenge to yourself to uh, do it honestly, but there's actually one or two sections where you need to use the JIT adapter to get through. So if you need to switch to an anyhow... Huh. That... I swear, all the colors are different. <laughs> Not all the colors, but... Well, we apologize if we miss small chunks of the chat room text. It looks like we've been having to re refresh the chat room every five to ten minutes. So we're losing a few posts here and there. No, the next console is uh, ready to go when we are. <laughs> we might not be ready to go when it is. <laughs> yeah, Probably the better question. Yeah, we're planning on having dinner after this game. But I don't... We haven't discussed what that means for the stream yet, though. Well, I can make it, and then once it's ready, I can bring you in plates, and you guys can trade off and eat when you're not playing. Which is what's likely to happen. And I'm done with that. I would appreciate that. And I'm going to finish this game first. I don't know if it If you can get up to the moon, we are happy to share the pizza with you. I'm not. I'm happy to share my pizza. Oh! The spikes, they have... They find ways. <laughs> they just find ways. <laughs> It's okay, fool. Uh, Nathaniel is colorblind as well. So he can notice changes in the design itself, like if the box was there or not, but he doesn't really know if the colors have changed. Actually, I'm looking this up right now. <laughs> How to get pizza delivered to the moon? <laughs> <laughs> well, if we were in Earthbound, we could just call for it. Oh, yeah, I hadn't even thought about that. Earthbound is a game I haven't played that I kind of... Oh, jeez. <laughs> You know all those lives we had? Yeah, we don't have them yes. anymore. Not really. I am not completely off my rocker here. They did change... I'm looking at a, uh, a sprite map. They're not going to be able to hear you incredibly well back then. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm coming around okay. here. Um, I just looked it up. And I was just looking at a oh, sprite map idea. of the last level that we just played through. And the colors in the floor and ceiling are slightly different. There are reddish, greenish, whatever, again, colorblind, but there are different colored edges on the side of those big, thick cylinders uh, that are lodged in the walls. So, the color scheme is slightly different. It's not just a consistent gray across the whole thing. So I'm not making this up. Not all of it, at least. Not all of it, at least. But I just spent three quarters of a year playing this game over and over again and recording and editing video, so I'm hopefully <laughs> hopefully I can remember some of the little details like that. So I should replenish the e-tanks. Uh... Ouch! I knew something nefarious was going to pop out of there. Oh my goodness! It's like a beat egg. 
that then transforms into, like, a beat bomb. Someone informed me that you can punch those X-boxes. That won't fix the red ring. <laughs> Not that it seems to do much good against the birds. Now I, well, I was just looking down to see what, uh, see something, but then I didn't see it and fell instead. Yeah, I can use those. Actually, Felinamon was saying it's good to find somebody else who's colorblind. Uh, oh, that's what I was looking at. Now, now we can, you know, we can both feel our pain, or uh, whatever, however it was phrased. The chat window got, uh, we can feel each other's pain, I think that was it. Uh, the chat window got refreshed as I was looking at that. But... It's actually more like a, you know, a party trick than, a, than a, an actual limitation. As long as I don't try and play, like, Call of Duty multiplayer or something, I'm fine. Because otherwise it's just friendly Fire City. I don't need that. It's over here. The worst way to go. Oh, it won't let me go back! I just wanted to look. Gee. So while uh, we've we've heard Dash about some of the things you like about this game, what are the things you don't like so much about this game? Well, hmm. Oh wow, I'm, I should kind of watch my health. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of candy! Oh, another Aether giveaway. Oh, that's a shame. Obviously that was a, a bot or somebody wanting to be a bot in real life. Hey, what's he doing there? What? Going down the hole, apparently. No, that, that turret at the end there, right above the boss door. That wasn't there in the original game. Sorry to break your concentration. I can't break that while I have this on. <laughs> Well, with the gunslingers. <laughs> um, Cabernet is saying, see Mr. Laser, you punch the Xbox onto where the eggs would spawn. Bam, stop the birds. That, I, I seem to recall that not actually working, that the birds still kept coming out uh, when I tried that. Ooh. And we're also talking about FC78? Uh, Famicom. Yeah, the D-Makes? Yes. No, we're, well, we're going to be playing through the original, um... When we say original, it's original for us. Yes. The English release. So technically, we are playing the original, original Mega Man 6 right now. On the original Famicom. But to us, they are totally messing with the level designs in these stages. Yeah, we've we've both played the D-Makes, I think, on our, on our own time and have enjoyed them. Yeah. Uh, well, enjoyed is a, a broad term. Um, I enjoyed. J, J Reviewer, you can post a link as long as it is PG and safe for work. But it has to be it PG, nothing G-rated. It doesn't link to any, um, anything like MP3s or, or other super copyrighted content, ROM, stuff like that. Oh. 
got my number, man. He's got my number. Ah, why do I get stuck to the floor? They say use power adapter. I need to prove my mega manliness and use no adapter. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I bet I'll use an adapter coming up. My plan for writing in English has failed! Konnichiwa, Mega Man! <laughs> I swear that's what it's like. But I still <gasps> have enough power to wiggle my eyebrows at you! Actually, he wiggled the spaceship, not his eyebrows. He sort of did. He snuck in the eyebrows, though. He's sneaky like that. <laughs> yeah. The, the game over return of Iceman returns. <laughs> Uh, so Nathaniel uh, answered already a few minutes ago about Mega Man 7 for YouTube, and he's got a little bit recorded, but there's been a lot going on, so we haven't really gotten as far through that as he would have liked, but uh, it's going in spurts. Okay, you know what? That's fine, Luigi. We don't we don't mind repeat questions. We figure we're gonna get a lot of repeat questions because we'll be doing this for 16 hours total. At least. I swear they're messing with the colors in this. This is throwing my head off. Uh, it looks right in place to me. My yeah. Not, okay. Not entirely the expression. Yeah. You should have seen the camera. His head was just thrown off. Ooh. Ooh, dry. I would like a soda. Can you ship it to the moon? Huh. How about that? <laughs> Jim and I died on spikes. Jim and I died on spikes. That's <laughs> happened before. Actually, most of that was hiragana and not uh, kanji. Ow. Yes, he hablises the espanol. Por qué? Quién quiere saber? Don't die, don't die. Nope. Not good enough. Not good enough! No, there are three different alphabets for Japanese writing. The first two characters are kanji, the next few characters are katakana, which are used for expressing words that come from foreign languages originally. The last part of what you posted is hiragana, which is used for everyday language Ooh. and yeah. j traditional Japanese writing. Why did I do that? That was just poorly timed. So was that. Forget you. Dry, you need to stop breaking the internet. How many times have you broken the internet today? What is the hardest Mega Man game? Um, nine. Nine is up there. Mega Man and Base is up there. Mega Man and Base is unforgiving. Nine is just difficult. Ah, uh, that should have worked. It'll. The only problem with throwing pizza from the moon, Woe Doctor, is that first it freezes on the way down. 
Um, yeah, it's just taking forever. And while you think it might defrost while re-entering Earth's atmosphere, it really just burns. I feel like this isn't as difficult as the... Okay, I lied. <laughs> Seem to be as relentless with the fireballs, and then every time I open my mouth, about it, it is. <laughs> yeah, baby dragon noise. No, nope. <laughs> this is more of a dinosaur. <laughs> baby dinosaur noise. <laughs> then you've also got uh, Mega Man powered up or Mega Man Ten on hard mode, especially if you're playing as Proto Man and Mega Man Ten. Uh, which is just cruel. Wait, what did you say the first time? Uh, I was saying Mega Man and Base is... But you said Powered Up. Oh, Powered Up on Hard Mode. Uh, yeah. And, um... And that's just if we're talking classic series. Um, a lot of the X games I find to be more difficult. The Zero series I find to be very difficult. And, um... Actually, Extreme 2 is almost unplayably difficult for me, but it's also almost unplayable for me to begin with. Well, yeah, uh, it's it's a shame, I think, that Extreme Series is by and large unplayable because of the uh, Street Fighter Dash implementation. Yeah, the double tap to dash. Oh, wait, I think you can actually hold down an A to dash in that game. What you looking for? Not that. Nope. Oh, check, check that out. Look what I spy with my little eye. Nice. I did not discover that until my YouTube playthrough of Mega Man 6. That's the first time I've seen it. Yeah, I had no idea about it. So I think we never actually got a chance to talk about what were the negatives of this game. I think to... I couldn't come up with them. Okay. Um, Honestly, of the uh, original six, the NES Mega Man games, and uh, oh, angry thingy is angry. Likelihood of falling down a pit. Likelihood of losing all your health first. Well, but I wasn't sure if I was going to fall down the pit and just waste the knee tank if I did. <laughs> anyway, I'm right here, it turns out. I don't know, this, it, you know, it, this brought it all together for me. Um, in Mega World. Mega Land. Mega Man Land. I like how those guys are actually harder to destroy if you charge up first, because it takes an extra second for your shot to reach them. They're saying the best thing is the lack of sp sprite flicker. Well, yeah, just on a technical level, this is by far the best. And the worst thing is Wily's absolutely pathetic attempt at a disguise. <laughs> yeah, the plot on this one was really lacking. It could have been really great if they had had a more convincing Mr. X who didn't obviously look like Dr. Wily. Yes, if instead he looked like Gordon Freeman. <laughs> And I think it might have also been fun if, like, Dr. Wily were present, uh... Stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. ...at the, uh, the Robot Master Contest and had gotten kidnapped by one of them. And, like, Mega Man was going after to rescue Wily from Mr. X. Okay, that doesn't work. So should I just keep clustering him, or...? Uh, use Windstorm is his weakness. Otherwise, keep shooting at his legs to bounce him back. Or just push. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, it's going to take even longer to finish scanning the internet dry than it did to reboot your PC, so I'd, uh, 
I'd go grab a nice hot beverage and uh, keep watching. Actually, he's not thirsty. He had an extra soda he was trying to give away. Uh, sodas aren't hot beverages, though. Maybe a hot beverage would do it. Oh boy, I once again get to do the boss rush. <laughs> Chad had called that out a moment ago. <laughs> you know, it's a shame that the, uh, this... Ah, I was trying to slide that the special ability of uh, Flame Man's weapon here, um, the forming a fire tower when it hits the ground, is useless against Blizzard Man. Because when he moves, he doesn't roll into it. Well, he does, but he's invincible when that happens. It's a shame. Can I fight fire with fire? Not a good idea. Uh, rah. Apparently they want to hire you to write the plot for the next Mega Man game. I would love to design a Mega Man game. I would love to have the technical know-how to how, um, actually design a Mega Man game. So that's, that's one of my potential side projects is teach myself Flash or something to be able to make my own independent Mega Man fan game. Like not a ROM hack or anything, but a, a proper full-on fan game. Apparently they want me to fight Centaurus. Would you? <laughs> what weapon do I use again? Uh, you use Night Crush. I could try. I'll hand it over when we get there. I realize I used this weapon on him before, but uh, it's not a significantly different experience using uh, the Buster. We'll get you set up with the weapon. Here he comes. And switching over to Z Saber. Oh, this will not end well. And you can actually aim if you want, if you hold up or down when you're firing, but that's probably not useful here. Yeah, and you like, may post the link, uh, Phantom Rider. And like before, you can hold down an A to slide, if that would be of use to you. Just watch your ammo. He has a couple of seconds of invincibility after you hit him once, um, and your weapons won't do any damage. You are out of ammo and need to switch back to the Mega Buster, or the Rock Buster. And actually, if you want, use an E-Tank, press start, use an E-Tank. Go down to the E and press the A button. There you go. And you can still charge in this game. Hooray! Z-Saber beat Centaur Man. It was a hot mess, but I won. <laughs> uh... Cleaner than a lot of the battles we've had. Why <laughs> <laughs> mm, spear? <laughs> and of course, you got a couple of why nods. <laughs> Could use Blizzard, but Buster is easier. No, oh, he got me! Well, you enjoy your victory while you still can, Plant Man. Your time is up. You enjoy your victory while you can, Plant Man! <laughs> Oh, Plant Man, winter yeah, is coming. Yeah, they're ashamed for you. 
see in the fall. We're just emptying all of our weapons today. And uh, we're missing all of our everything. Fire sale on tomahawks. Ah. I figured he was going to do something like that. Um, what's that link? I told me. Oh. Final boss is yours. It's about uh, oh. the main, main game. Danke! It's like four Mega Busters adventure. I. Meh. <laughs> That one met will be the end of me. <laughs> Goodbye, Flip Top. We'll miss you in this capacity for the next several games. Don't get crushed. You got crushed. <laughs> you... You got crushed again in the middle. You know what? I'm willing to replay that stage. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Chris. Where are the brownies, Chris? Um, asking Nathaniel, what is your favorite Mega Man final boss theme? Once upon a time it was seven. But... I... I have yet to hear a version that doesn't sound a little cartoony of it. Uh, Mega Man 9's final boss theme just exudes Ooh, final battle. Away. So that that one is by far my favorite. But all of the final boss themes for these games are actually very good. All of the music for Mega Man 9 was fantastic. Well, Mega Man 9, yeah, definitely. But I mean, in general, all of the boss themes and final boss themes in the Mega Man series are traditionally some of the best in the music in the game. <laughs> oh. Use an Eep tank. Yeah, I think uh, Mega Man 2 Wily Stage uh, definitely fan favorite for music. Probably one of the best composed pieces of music in the series. The tower came in the beginning too. I know we're talking about boss Wily's music. Uh, the third yes, form? fool! You can make another uh, Return of Iceman Photoshop. Yeah, keep them coming. Oh, I'm sorry, I used it all. No, I didn't use it all, she used it all. Uh, but you still have some Tomahawk, which will work. That's what I was looking for. Uh, actually, Tomahawk works best, so. <laughs> actually, we didn't uh, put you in a bad position all that bad. <laughs> Not until I use it all myself without hitting him. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I lost the... Uh... So, it's in a different window. You can also hit Control-Tab, well, if it's anything set up like... Yeah, it is. The Mac button acts as the window button. Yay! And we finally win and lock him away in a jail! <laughs> oh man, the newspaper is in some foreign language. Actually, I don't think you can read that to begin with, can you? Alright, see you long. soon, Hoover Doctor. <laughs> Whoa, doctor. I keep thinking, who doctor? <laughs> who a doctor? Dr. Wiley now rules over a prison cell. A very cool prison cell. That is easily breached by robot attacks. Yes. Actually, he finds an earring that lets him sneak through a hole in the back. 
I see. Mm. I learned this last night while watching. Yes. Um, another YouTube streamer who hasn't done so much lately, Wayland something, but uh, plays RPGs from Europe. Pizza? Okay, let me know if you need a hand. I'm also going to step out from it. Okay. Maybe dash alone. <laughs> Honestly, Dry, I'm not familiar with this all robot masters at once seven uh, code. If I could, uh, Marar, if I could answer that question without offending somebody, I would. <laughs> but no matter who you pick, somebody's going to be offended. Um... Oh, well, we actually don't have any Game Genies available on premise. Yeah, right. That's that's why the bosses attack Mega Man as soon as he comes in. They're angry. They're like, "How did you get in here? I've been trapped in here forever." Gemini Laser isn't a big fan of Deathmatch. Wow, whoa, Doctor, that was fast. What's on the menu, whoa, Doctor? Way better at Mega Man 6 than he is, or 7? Because I am not better than him in any of the original series. Um, the closest I could probably come to him is in 6, and possibly 8. Uh... The X series, um, it depends upon the, the time of day and the phase of the moon whether he's better or I'm better, at least for the first three. A Mega Man Battle of Fail? PM me with details, Marar. What has what six hundred and thirteen turkeys? Now I'm lost. How where did we get here? <laughs> <laughs> 